Rally America on ESPN is presented by the new game Xbox Magazine calls the best racer on Xbox 360 yet, Dirt, and by Subaru, always ready. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Paul, name another sport where you have to wade to your grandstand seat. Is rally great or what? Oh, you bet it is. And the fans are waiting for this man, Andrew Pinker, the rally leader. This is stage four. The Subaru Splash, so named because of the flying finish line, is right in the middle of a stream. Here comes the Splash. Five minutes, 8.6 seconds. That's the time to beat. Here comes Paul Schwinier. He says he hates these roads, but they like him. Paul has won this rally seven Into times. Three. Into right five, minus short. Oh, they're off the road, but they get it back. Schwinier stops the clock at 5.21.8. 13 seconds off the pace. Travis is next. That's more like it. 5-13-8. Quicker than Schwanier, but still four behind Pinker. Andrew Comrie Picard and Mark Goldfarb spun 360 degrees, stalled, restarted, and still posted a good time on stage four. Five eleven point two, just two and a half behind Pinker. Um, I've been here about the Subaru Splash two years now, and it was a disappointment. <laughs> no, it was great. We hit it flat out, and no problems. So it was really good. Really twisty down into the spectator area, and then nailed it into the water. You see what the times were from that one. But we were nine up on Antoine, I think, going into that one. So if I lost nine in there, then he's my hero. Here comes Antoine Lestage. This is the Quebec driver's first appearance in the 07 Rally America Series. He can't qualify for X Games, but Natalie wanted to bring him down to Pennsylvania just to prove that he belongs and can win in America. So far, she has a point. They post the fastest time and close the gap to just four seconds behind Pinker after 35 stage miles. Iorio and Holter back in 11th. It's all part of the plan. We're 40 seconds out of, you know, fourth place or so right now, but I fully expect that he's going to start taking that back right away after the next three stages. It's just the way he drives, no matter how he starts today, he just gets faster and faster every stage, every rally. Oh, real rally definitely starts now, but uh, definitely not. Our, our game plan was to start out focused and, and on par, and then we wouldn't have to um, you know, take big risks down the end, but I mean, you know, definitely there's a lot of rallying to go. There's uh, most of the stages, night stages, long stages, um, you know, a lot can happen. I've just been driving a little too conservatively and, you know, we got to pick it up. Pick it up he did. Travis blitzes the 10 mile stage five. Ten seconds faster than the rally leader. Travis has said that this is one of his favorite rallies because success requires total commitment to notes. Crest 150. Crest caution. Small crest right two plus. 70 small crest right two plus. Left board, don't cut. Stand on the gas, Travis. Right His charge right. continues into stage six, where he is fastest to the halfway point before a mysterious overheating problem forces him to back off and save the motor. Lockerman is also much faster on this second set of stages, second to Travis on five, then fastest on six and seven. And the red Tiburon from Quebec has actually moved in the lead by two tenths of a second after stage five. But on stage six, remember where Travis nearly lost it? was badly bent, causing another spin on the next left turn. Unable to face another long stage before service, they withdraw, giving the lead back to Andy Pinker. You know, we were here trying to win the rally. Now we're, we're so far back, we just decided, instead of urging the car more or 
hurting us because the car is like the geometry I think is it's not right. So we just decided to to it's over. Andrew Cumry Picard joined the list of retirements after this spin. And a subsequent electrical fire. Great duel in the two-wheel drive Group 5 class. Andrew Havis in this entertaining old Mazda RX-7. Against 17-year-old Kyle Saracen's front-wheel drive Ford Focus. A huge crowd of rally fans showed up at Stage 7. Now, these people waited in the woods for hours. But due to security problems beyond the control of the organizers, the stage had to be canceled, and the cars paraded through. At service in Germania, we got Natalie Richard back working for ESPN. Welcome back, Natalie. That's right, we're at the service here, and the last stage, stage seven, was just canceled. So all the cars are transiting in, and they're all pretty much getting in all at the same time right now. Yeah, stage five was, was, was good. Stage six was, was going excellent. I mean, really felt just great, but then, you know, we started, I was like, Christian, the motor's dying again. <laughs> we got really lucky they had a transit on the last stage. Uh, so technically, we're still in the rally. We're still sitting third. We're not, you know, that far out, but we'll, uh, we'll see. I don't know how quick they can change a motor. <laughs> I'm here with rally leader Andrew Pinker. Now, Andy, you guys are in the lead by 17, 18 seconds? Apparently, yep. Yeah. It's, it's enough. It'd be nice if it was a little bit more going into these nighttime stages, but we'll see. It's a little bit of deja vu, me and ramming her up the front again, so. I'm here with Kyle Saracen, who's right now leading Group 5. Now, Kyle, you are having the drive of your life. You're in eighth place overall. You must be ecstatic. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, having a lot of fun co-drivers doing perfect, we're clicking together, and the roads are fast and smooth, and they're my kind of roads, I like to drive them fast, so it's working out good. The closing stage looked like a reprise of the Pinker versus Lagerman duel at Olympus. The two were evenly matched, and Lagerman had left his charge too late. Six, this long, time, Andy twice. Pinker and Robbie Durant come out on top. Pinker and Robbie Durant become the first repeat winners of the season, but there have been performances here and at the earlier events that suggest we could still see winning performances from drivers like Faust, Lestage, and Schwanier. The Subaru USA team will be back to form soon. They have to, and when they're on, they're hard to beat. The championship is far from over, Paul. There will be, Bill, a last chance wild card invitation to be awarded at our next rally, the New England Forest round six of the 2007 Rally America Championship. For Bill Wood and Natalie Richard, I'm Paul Page. We'll see you then. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.